Ever wondered why so many AI assistants have female names and voices? Let's dive into that today. It's no secret that AI and gender are intertwined in intriguing ways. From Siri to Alexa, a significant number of AI assistants and humanoid robots are presented with a female identity. But why is this the case? What does this prevalence of femininity in AI tell us about our society and the future of technology? Stay tuned as we explore the role of gender in AI. Scene Script Designing an AI involves many decisions including what gender to assign, if any. Diving into the design choices of AI we find ourselves exploring a labyrinth of societal norms and biases. These elements are not just present in our day-to-day -day lives but they subtly seep into our technological creations as well. The choice of gender in AI, particularly in humanoid robots is a prime example of this. Consider this, the choice to assign a gender to an AI isn't a random one. It's a conscious decision made by the designers, influenced by a myriad of factors. At times it reflects societal norms. For instance, AI assistants often have female voices, mirroring traditional roles where women have been seen as helpers or assistants. But that's not all. Biases too play a significant role. They might be unconscious, yet they shape our world in more ways than one. For instance, female humanoid robots are often designed to appear young and attractive, echoing stereotypical beauty standards. This, in turn, influences how we perceive and interact with these AI entities. Now you might wonder, why does this even matter? Well, it matters because these design choices have real-world implications. They shape our understanding and expectations of gender roles. They can either reinforce existing stereotypes or challenge them, opening up a world of possibilities. Moreover, the gender of AI can influence the user's comfort level and trust. For instance, some people might feel more at ease interacting with a female AI, while others might prefer a male one. The choice of gender can also impact the perceived authority of the AI. Typically, male AIs are viewed as more authoritative, mirroring societal perceptions of gender and power. So as we delve deeper into the world of AI and robotics, it's essential to be aware of these design choices and their implications. They're not just technical decisions but ones that carry social and cultural weight. So we see that gender in AI is not a simple binary choice but a complex issue intertwined with societal expectations. Beyond the design choices how does gender expression play out in AI? A fascinating question isn't it? Now let's delve into this captivating realm. Imagine you're interacting with an AI assistant. The voice that greets you, the name it goes by, and the style of interaction it employs all subtly express a certain gender. This gendering isn't biological of course but rather a human construct woven into the AI's programming. Take voice for instance. We often perceive a voice as masculine or feminine based on its pitch, tone, and inflection. AI developers can choose a voice that sounds male, female, or neutral. Siri, Cortana, and Alexa, for example, all have distinctly female voices in their default settings. Names can also imply a gender. Again, Siri, Cortana, and Alexa are all traditionally female names. This isn't a coincidence. Developers consciously choose these names, fully aware of the gender associations they carry. The interaction style of an AI can further express gender. An AI program to be assertive and directive might be perceived as masculine, while one that's nurturing and supportive might be seen as feminine. But why does all this matter? Well, the gender expression of an AI can significantly influence our perceptions and behaviors. If an AI has a female voice and name, we might unconsciously expect it to be helpful, nurturing and patient based on societal gender stereotypes. Similarly, an AI with a male voice might be expected to be knowledgeable, assertive and authoritative. These expectations can shape our interactions with the AI. We might be more inclined to seek advice from a female AI or more likely to accept directions from a male AI. This isn't about reinforcing stereotypes but understanding how deeply ingrained they are in our psyche and how they can unconsciously influence our interactions with technology. With AI becoming more advanced, the question of gender expression becomes even more pertinent. As we continue to interact with and rely on these intelligent systems, we must be mindful of the gender constructs we're embedding in them and consider the implications they have on our perceptions and behaviors. The gendering of AI is not without its implications, let's delve into this. The concept of gender in AI, specifically in female humanoid robots, is a fascinating and complex subject. It's not just about shaping robots into female forms or programming them with female voices. It's about the societal and cultural implications that come with these design choices. One potential pitfall of assigning gender to AI is the reinforcement of gender stereotypes and biases. 
By designing AIs to conform to traditional gender roles, we may inadvertently perpetuate harmful stereotypes. If an AI is designed as female and programmed to be nurturing, empathetic and subservient, what message does that send about the role of women in society? Furthermore, these gendered design choices may also contribute to the objectification and devaluation of the gender they represent. For instance, if a female humanoid robot is used for tasks deemed menial or subservient, this could potentially reflect negatively on real women and how they are perceived. Another implication is the potential for gender bias in AI decision-making. Similar to how AI can be biased based on the data it's trained on, if an AI is designed with a specific gender in mind, it could potentially develop biases based on that gender. This could affect its interactions with humans, its decision-making processes, and even its overall functionality. Moreover, the gendering of AI also raises questions about identity and selfhood. If an AI is assigned a gender, does it have a gender identity? Does it experience gender in the same way humans do? These are philosophical questions perhaps but they are relevant in a world where AI is becoming increasingly integrated into our lives. But it's not all doom and gloom. Assigning gender to AI can also have positive implications. It can make AI more relatable and approachable, fostering a sense of familiarity and comfort. It can also promote diversity in AI, reflecting the rich tapestry of human gender identities. However, it's crucial to navigate these waters with care. In designing gendered AI, we must strive for balance and avoid reinforcing harmful stereotypes or biases. We must also be mindful of the potential for objectification and devaluation, and ensure that our design choices promote respect and equality. The gendering of AI also presents an opportunity for us to re-evaluate and challenge our own understandings of gender. As we design AI, we have the chance to create more inclusive and diverse representations of gender, pushing beyond traditional binary concepts and embracing the full spectrum of gender identities. In conclusion, the implications of gender in AI are multifaceted and complex. They encompass societal, cultural, and ethical considerations, and they require careful thought and discussion. The gendering of AI is not just a design choice, it's a reflection of our own attitudes towards gender, and it has the potential to shape these attitudes in profound ways. Therefore, the gendering of AI is a topic that warrants careful consideration and discussion. Looking ahead, what might the future hold for gender in AI? It's a question that sparks curiosity and contemplation. In the ever-evolving field of artificial intelligence, the concept of gender is fluid and open to interpretation. Today we are already witnessing the emergence of gender-neutral AI. This means creating AI systems that don't conform to traditional gender norms, but rather, embody a more inclusive, diverse representation of humanity. Think of a voice assistant that doesn't have a distinctly male or female voice but something entirely new, an amalgamation of tones and pitches that resonate with a wider audience. Moreover the future could see AI that has the ability to adapt its gender expression based on user preferences. This would mean that the AI could exhibit traits traditionally associated with masculinity, femininity, or anything in between, depending on what the user feels most comfortable with. This shift towards customizable AI gender expression could not only enhance user experience but also foster inclusivity and respect for diverse gender identities. But it's not just about the technology, it's about the societal implications as well. With AI systems becoming increasingly embedded in our daily lives, they have the potential to influence our perceptions of gender. For instance, a gender-neutral AI could challenge stereotypical gender roles and promote equality. On the other hand, an AI that reinforces traditional gender norms could perpetuate harmful stereotypes. That's why it's crucial to approach the issue of gender in AI with a critical eye. As we continue to shape the future of AI we must also consider the impact of our design choices on society. The future of gender in AI is a blank canvas, and we hold the paintbrush. It's an opportunity for us to redefine gender norms and create a more inclusive, equitable world. But, it's also a responsibility. We must ensure that the AI of the future respects and celebrates the diversity of human gender identities. As we continue to develop and use AI, it's important to question and challenge our assumptions about gender. So, we've taken a deep dive into the complex issue of gender in AI. We've explored the design choices behind female humanoid robots, examined how gender is expressed in these creations, and discussed the implications of gender in AI. We've also looked ahead to the future, pondering the potential evolution of gender within robotics. Thank you for joining us in this exploration. 
Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content on AI. Until next time, keep questioning.